MB07, day 03, June the 6th, Tuesday, grey day, very grey day, there's a lot of grey, and it's chilly, anyway, not going to Costa, I had the full English, I'm going between the gap, and then over that way, gonna start, Lord High Constable, and then the Regal, and then the Pelican, because that's a plan. I did start in the Lord High Constable, and I forgot to check in, I forgot the video, but I've checked in now, and now I'm in the Regal. Divine, by Bishop's Neck, 5.1% or by volume. A proverbial, a lot going on here. Creamy, malty, fruity, spicy, gently bitter. The day, fruity, semi spicy, bitter. There's a lot in the finish as well. Everything's in the finish. Be plus in a bit. I'm here, it's open, and they've watered the plants, yay! Carbs mean quantity and quality, squawk brewing, um, Otis, 3.9% alcohol by volume, pale, slightly hazy, fruity on the nose. Oh, spillage. Never mind. One of the few pubs that still has beer mats. Precisely because of that. Anyway, B plus in a bit. Subtle, gentle, refreshing. And look at it. Mm. Great up there. Very great. Just learned that the uh, jukebox failed and now it's the untapped. Deja on cask. I'll ask the question. No S. 4% alcohol by volume. Mm. Smells really fruity. Mm. Big mouth feel. Gently malty. Nicely fruity. Slightly tropical. Gentle fruity bitter finish. B plus on the bit on the bit, 3.4. I thought it was a V sign, but it's a scissors and it's from Basque Land. Oh, that could be tricky. It's from Basque Land in the Basque Land or whatever. 6.2% alcohol by volume. Um, piles and piles of New Zealand hops. I expect this to be hoppy. Ooh. That is hugely hoppy. They're a bit fruity. A bit malty, gentle bit of finish. If you like your hops, you like your bitterness, B. I'll go for that.